You know, so many times we set goals or we have dreams or we have plans and we work our tail off and it doesn't come out the way we want. And a lot of people come out of those situations disillusioned or angry or resentful or frustrated. They look for someone to blame. But you know, sometimes I really truly believe that not getting your goal is part of the design, it's part of the game plan, causing you to dig inside and discover more of yourself, to really begin to use your real capacity as human being, those traits that are within you that only expand when they're challenged. You, want, you know what's so funny? We want people to make guarantees to us, but we're not willing to make guarantees to ourselves. I'm going to say it again, like you, somebody gave you a guarantee, $30, 30 day guarantee. In 30 days, if, they, if you don't make what they told you it's going to make, in 30 days you got an attitude, you want your money back. But you've never demanded your money back from yourself. You've never looked at yourself in the mirror and said, you let you down. Until you get to that point, you let you down. God has put you here for a reason. The question is, what is it? God does not create things without a purpose. Everything on earth serves a purpose. Why are you here? What are you here to do? What are you here to become, to create, and to give? These are some of the most significant questions that you can answer in your life. And even when you answer them, I'm sure that as your life expands, you'll come up with better answers as you get more experience and you get closer in touch with your own innermost being and maybe closer in touch with your creator as well. See, the purpose of a goal, as I've shared with you so many times, is not to achieve the goal. The purpose of the goal is what it makes of us as people, who we become. You always want to blame other people. You always want to, you want to hold other people to the fire, but you're not holding yourself to the fire. You just said you give given 50%. You owe you an explanation. You owe you an explanation. You need to look at yourself in the mirror and say, why are you only giving 50%? What's wrong with you? On any given day, you can massively change the direction of your life. If you don't like how it is for you, change it. If it doesn't suit you, change it. If it doesn't please you, change it. If it isn't enough, change it. And I challenge you to do that because you can change. See, you don't ever have to be the same again after tonight, only by choice. So what's guiding you? What's controlling you? What's directing your behavior? What's directing your focus? What's directing the meaning you're pulling from your life? What is it? Is it your parents? Is it the competition you have with somebody else? Is it wanting to prove somebody wrong? Is it your desire to contribute? Is it your desire for joy or happiness? Or is it a sense of purpose that's driving you? A sense there's something out there for you to do. There's something you're designed to evolve into, to become, to share, to give, to create. You don't even know what it is. Winners win and losers lose. If there's one thing to get excited over, that's it. Get excited over your ability to make yourself do the necessary things. What changed? I changed. And I stopped being a victim. I stopped saying, I've got to wait for good things to happen to me. And I said, I'm going to grind. I'm going to fight. I'm going to work. I'm going to press toward. I'm going to learn. I'm going to do everything in my power. Every single day, I'm going to do everything in my power to become a victor and not a victim. Each moment, we've got to be able to find some sense of meaning for our lives, something that is significant, something that is useful. And whether I'm talking to high school kids or business executives, my message is always the same. And it goes like this. The only way it gets better for you is when you get better.